today we are going to talk about the stock market analysis from Ralph Lauren Company. First, we need to understand what is Ralph Lauren and the type of market and industry that involves this corporation. Ralph Lauren is a worldwide fashion corporation that has over 493 stores. Ralph Lauren was found in New York in 1967. This company became a public company with the help of the biggest investors named Goldman Sachs in June 11, 1997. We are going to particular pay attention on the stock market price from 2050 to 2019. And here we can see many ups and downs. And in 2050, Love Lauren were doing very good and going, as the time passed, Love Lauren started decreasing their stock value. The company went down in 2050. They started with a high value of 197.77 cents per share. Their income in 2017 was the highest as well, with 7,002 million. In 2050, Love Lauren ends the market with a price of 185.7 cents. In 2060, it ends with a price of 112.11. In 2017, Love Lauren went down and their price value decreased very significantly from other years with a price of 91.27 cents. In 2019, we can see that the price started recovering a little bit with a price of 160.74 cents. And finally, at the end of 2019, the price recover more than the other years but not like in 2007 and the price was with a hundred forty two point ninety cents annual revenue in here we can see the quarter growth and the monthly growth of annual revenue this graph shows the definition it shows the annual revenue of RL, Ralph Lauren, and the direct sales that they got from the customers. Ralph Lauren annual re revenue from 2060 to 2070 declined with a net income of 10.60%. In order to understand what is the reason that Ralph Lauren has passed through all this process of going up and down in the stock value, we have to see what were some of the factors that can be internal and external factors. In 2015, we can see that Ralph Lauren changed a new, for a new chief executive with the name of Stefan Larsen, who has experience due to his former a position that he had with the company of H&M and Old Navy, and which is part also of the fashion company. Love Lauren launched many stores in China with the suppliers and warehouses in Hong Kong, and also specialized with the e-commerce platform for the Chinese market. As a result, they sell revenue grew 60.7%. There are three main competitors for La Florent. The first one is BF. The second one is Colombia Sports Swear. Colombia Sports Wear. And the third one is Tapestry. In this graph, we can see the net income and from all of these companies. And the blue one, which shows all the way here, is La Florent. The other ones that are below below Love Lawrence, those are their competitors. 
we can see that Lord Lawrence has a lot of advantage uh, from all of them due to their experience, due to the internal decisions that they have made, and also due to the trade fashion that they provide for their customers. My recommendation is to buy and wait until the price gets higher than the price that the stock was when you bought it. Um, this is more an investment for long-term investors who does not have the necessity to take out their money right away. Thank you.